Hi, this is Naomi with Sword and Steel, and today I was looking at the Knight Judicator with Griffhounds model, how I assembled it, uh, what the War Scroll is like, and uh, any surprises I came across while I was assembling it, and what I think about the model itself. <laughs> Yes, there is construction still going on. Uh, we've accomplished all the pipe work, thankfully. The plumbing has been completed and uh, now we are on to plastering. So if there is grimaces on my face for the next couple of weeks, it's just because I'm sore from the manual labor. All right, the Knight, Judicator and Griffhound set. It turns out it is push fit. I wasn't particularly pleased to open it up and it say that it's push fit. I'm sure it said it on the back, uh, but I missed it. <laughs> there is only one extra piece that is a head option, that is it. And then everything else you completely use up from the sprue. I mean, putting it together was pretty straightforward because there weren't that many pieces involved, it being push fit. Of course, I did have to cut the pegs of the push fit model down into stakes and apply plastic glue before I put the pieces together. You will have trouble getting the pieces together evenly if you don't cut those pegs down and or apply plastic glue to the parts uh, first. I would not suggest not using glue. Uh, for this model. Also, if you're using thin liquid cement, you can fix up the joining sections by simply adding a bit of plastic glue in uh, here and there, wherever you see that the join is a randomly gapped area. Um, but besides that, these were quite straightforward to put together. There are no really fiddly bits other than the bow. Be very careful when you're cutting the bow from the sprue. I like to put the back of my finger against the bow itself as you're cutting to absorb the vibration so that your the little fiddly bit won't get hurt. And make certain you have a nice sharp hobby knife if you were cleaning it up with a hobby knife. A fine sandpaper could do that as well or a file could clean it up as well yeah i wouldn't really suggest the mold line remover there's just too much force had would have to be applied there so if you don't want to use a hobby knife then i would suggest a file and taking your time with that oh i would suggest getting some reverse tweezers for that so that they hold your pieces in place uh, you may however want to not assemble that quiver Certainly not attach it to his back, but also not assemble the uh, quiver pieces itself until you've painted it if you're planning on using more than one color uh, for the quiver pieces. But other than that, everything else seems pretty easy to reach. So just the quiver for sub-assembly. With that out of the way, I'm just going to go ahead and find out what the Knight, Judicator, and Griff Hounds uh, models do in terms of game rules. So the Judicator himself has a 6 inch movement, 5 wounds, 3 plus to save, and 8 bravery. Um, I say it himself because the Griffhounds actually have their own characteristics. So his ability is called Faithful Griffhounds, and the first time he is set up on the battlefield, you must summon one Griffhounds unit consisting of two models to the battlefield and add it to your army. You set up the Griffhounds within a uh, wholly within three inches of this unit and more than nine inches from all enemy units. So all the stats um, I'm going to talk about first will be the Knight Judicator himself, and then we'll scoot over to the War Scroll of the Griffhounds and uh, make certain we all know what they do. So his other ability is Gaze of Sigmar. Once per battle in your shooting phase, you can say that this unit will draw the Gaze of Sigmar instead of attacking with its missile weapons. If you do so, pick one point on the battlefield within uh, 30 inches of this unit and visible to it. Roll a dice for each enemy unit within 6 inches of that point. On a 4+, plus, that unit suffers D3 mortal wounds. 
So a 50% chance to suffer one to three mortal wounds for each enemy unit within six inches of that point. So if you've got an enemy piling on their models all in the one place, this would be great for it. You only have it once per battle, so choose wisely when you want to use it. But do definitely use it, don't forget. If there are even only two units, I don't think I'd use it for one unit because it's a four plus. It's only a 50% chance of getting it. Uh, for two or more units, I would certainly use it sooner rather than later so that um, those wounds are gone. Now, uh, do, 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 do. so he has a Terminus Great Bow with a range of 30 inches as well. Two attacks, a three plus to hit, two plus to wound, Ren minus three, three damage. He is super nasty. Now it's only two attacks, but hey, there's ways to increase attacks. And his Warblade is three attacks, one in trained, of course, uh, three plus to hit, three plus to wound, Ren minus one, one damage. So he's all right in uh, melee as well, particularly since you're going to have two Griff Hounds with you. So the Griff Hounds are two wounds each, movement of nine, and six bravery. Um, if there are three or more models, which is not the case here, the unit would have a Griff Hound Alpha with one extra attack, but we don't have to worry about that in this case because there are only two models. They have darting attacks after this unit has fought and all of its attacks have been resolved. It can retreat six, which is interesting. If there's anything to do with charging, you can use that. Um, and then it has a warning cry. If an enemy reserve unit or summoned unit is set up on the battlefield for the first time within 12 inches of this unit, you can pick up to three friendly Stormcast Eternals units wholly within 12 inches of this unit to shoot. Ah, nice. Any shooting attacks made by Stormcast Eternals unit picked with this ability must target that reserve unit or summon unit. So that's nice. Mm. So they can make uh, the Knight Judicator shoot because they certainly should be wholly within 12 inches of him. Oh, I didn't even get to their vicious beak and claws. They've got four attacks each, three plus to hit, four plus to wound, and one damage. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. 205 points. Would I do it? Hmm. You could either get him and two griff hounds for 205 points, or you could get five judicators with skybolt bowls bows for 200 points. Is he worth it? I'm going to give him a shot anyway. Or you can get the Lord Arcanum on Celestial Dracoline for 200 points. <laughs> um, I don't know whether I would use him or not, but he looks awesome. And I am going to try him out just to see what he's like. The Griff Hounds are a nice way to keep uh, your opponent in combat when they want to try and get to an objective. They're not going to survive very long. And with the 9 inch movement they can grab an objective pretty quickly or get in someone's way pretty quickly. So I am going to have to try them out and I shall reserve my judgment until then. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that was useful to you. If it was, make certain you like and subscribe. And uh, I will catch you in the next video. Also want to say a big thank you to the patrons who have been supporting this channel. I very much appreciate your support and I hope you've been enjoying the videos as well. I will catch you in the next one. Bye!